The data discrimination bill is all about removing your basic data rights. So it takes away your ability to get hold of information or at least reduces it severely. It makes it harder for the, to know that companies are using your data sensibly because they don't have to make any kind of assessment. It means that they can do all kinds of things for business purposes with no real assessment of whether it's gonna lead to discrimination, to uh, adverse impacts for you. And it does the same for governments. They can use data without any proper assessment of whether it matters. So that could lead to things like exam results being calculated incorrectly by automated means, as we saw during the pandemic, and there being no legal recourse, whereas that was clearly unlawful when that was tried in the UK. So this, this really matters. This is about bringing the UK's data market to a completely or largely deregulated space and anything that appears to still be not allowed, lobbyists will be able to ask ministers to get that allowed and simply get it passed through without any parliamentary debate. It also hamstrings the ICO so they can't investigate properly and if they want to investigate something, they've got to decide whether that might actually upset the businesses and therefore maybe they shouldn't investigate or not give strong conclusions when they do. So it's a disaster. It's a complete disaster. It'll lead to a lack of trust in the data economy. It will exacerbate the problems we see the online harms bill trying to tackle and it will make it harder to regulate companies through competition because people won't trust their data moving around. So why the government is trying to do this it appears to be to benefit a small number of very intrusive companies with very bad business models like Palantir for instance uh, and other people who basically exploit biz, uh, data in uh, inappropriate ways like the online advertising industry that's not the right way to build trust in the economy and to build the kind of data future we want that's what we've been telling the Labour Party today with these leaflets and what we hope that you'll be doing where you live